Basically off, but if you turn it both of them up, that's when you're. More of a white blue. That's really where you're going to get your corals that are uh, your colors for optimal oh. overall growth and the most appealing colors so you can see them for us. So once you go there, you can hit the check mark, and that's what our graphic is going to correct to do. Oh. And then from here, you can also hit play, and that's going to give you a visual. It's going to take that light, and it's going to go through the whole program just about a two minute period so you can see if what you did is what you wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, the button, there, see? See, it's going to take that in from that program that we made. It's building it. Now it's, it's going to go through the program here in a second. It, it dimmed out. And now we can watch it. And see how it goes. Exactly. So now we're going to hit our sunrise period. It's starting to get a little bit brighter. Daytime in the middle of the afternoon. Exactly. You got it. Oh. You built a cool program. <laughs> and then to uh, to save it, you would hit your check mark, and then from here we can save it uh, to our list and send it right to the light fixture to, to do our program immediately, or you can just save it right to our list. And then where Exactly. And then you would just hit that program and send it to the light and you're good to go. So we make that fixture in a, uh, this is a 50 watt fixture and this is a 100 watt fixture. So this is going to give you a spread of 24 inches over your aquarium and it's going to give you a spread of 36 inches over your aquarium. So on your little, if you still have the 14 gallon on that little uh, 
LRS is uh, perfect fixture for it. We don't make sumps, but we do make uh, pump? we do make pumps, return pumps that you can use in your sump, and we also make uh, protein skewers that will be available out in the middle of the summer that you can put into your sump. The, uh, the new skimmer design is our DC controllable pumps, and it's uh, three sizes that are going to be models. We've got a 150 GP model, okay. 150 gallon tank model. Uh, this is the 250, and then this is the 400. Utilize our uh, DC pump. So the controller gives you a couple of functions that uh, that are nice. You can control uh, what's going on with the pump itself just by simply manipulating the controller up or down. You also have a utility mode or a feeding mode on the controller, so you can hit this and this has an automatic uh, five-minute timer. So it'll cut out for five minutes, let you feed, do maintenance, whatever it might be. If you just forget about it, it gets right back into cycle. But if you need it less, you can hit pause and it'll cut back on it. That's awesome. Uh, the other thing that the uh, pumps have is uh, they've got a, a memory setting, so in a power outage, it remembers what you had set it at, so it has to automatically default to something that you don't want it to. It also has a five minute timer, uh, a delay at a power cut, so that lets all this is the water in your system get back into your system instead of sitting back in the sump where it all accumulates before the skimmer cuts back out. Uh, it also has no water sensor, so if there's no water in that skimmer chamber, it'll cut out so you don't cause any damage. It's got those functions just on the pump itself. And then on the skimmer, uh, it's got some nice functionality. The cup is all O-ring sealed, uh, so it's easy to take the cup off and clean it. Also, if you really want to fully clean the cup, oh, okay, you can take the the center ring comes out. So oh, that's get really good. And clean everything out. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's face it, always smells that small. It's yeah. hard to clean that thing. No, I don't. I can't. You can I can clean so, around the rims. That's yeah, the hard exactly. part. And then uh, the fact is, you don't even have to really take the cup off every time you want to clean it because you're sitting here. You can just open the valve and drain the cup. Uh, then to uh, regulate the height of the water inside the chamber, it's just a simple uh, valve. So the little foam latch operates the, uh, the gate valve down to the bottom, and it, uh, again, it can be able to hide that bubble down. So yeah. The air inlet is all around the inside of this neck, so this acts as the, uh, the air inlet and the sole silencer, so you're not going to hear any of that air stuff inside of the ESP servers. When we put the number on the box, as for what our recommendation is for up to gallon. Up to. So for a moderate to lightweight stock tank, so up to 150, up to a 250, and then up to a 400 gallon. But the real recommendation is going to be 50 to 150 gallon. So if you're going to chain your tank full of oil yeah. and you want. fish, and it's, you know, it's a 50 gallon tank, this is still your gun. And uh, your price points are going to be sitting at uh, 300, uh, 400, and so the fans will make uh, in a lot of different sizes, everything from our little nano things, yeah, everything from our nano thing all the way up through you know big big systems. Like in the like in the aquarium in front, we have two fans. The one I've got turned down because it's a lot of fun this size. Well, we were talking about the lights, how they're programmed from your phone or your tablet. These pumps have that same ability, so you're programming from your phone or your tablet. So you can build in a really cool program and take that, that, that circulation and make it more or less gray waves and all from your uh, phone or tablet. And this little guy is going to do a full range of 370 to 1,000 
guys that, uh, that don't know much about coral or don't want to spend the time and energy to learn about care for their animals like you do? <laughs> hey, it's a clam that'll never die. You never have to feed it. It's always great color. Well, we do a bunch. Just, uh, you know, Idor is a 35-year-old. Uh, 